Welcome back to the Cons and Ferris High School Sports Show brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. Joining us on the Specialties Hotline from the Section 5 Class B two-time defending champions, Canandaigua Braves. It's Coach Ronnie Davis and his daughter, star attacker McKenna Davis, headed to Boston College and uh, fresh off a 9-7 win over Victor, your rival, the one against the number two. You're the one, they're the two. It's at your place. McKenna Davis, you get to celebrate a championship on your home field in a great atmosphere. It's been a couple days. How does that, how's that memory going to look in 10 years? I mean, it's just going to be amazing. I mean, like looking back from like, even now looking back on it, it's just, it's still fresh in my mind. It's great. We're, our whole team is still talking about the way and we're all still so happy about it. What made your team so good and able to do this? Cause we all know that class B, whether it's the boy side or the girl side, it's just a gauntlet. Yeah, so um, we work really, really hard on the little things. And um, and as you know, in classic sports, high school sports, you only get a certain amount of time with, you know, with these kids to prepare. And especially with this year being with COVID, you know, I think our total season was five weeks. But, you know, in those five weeks, we were work so hard on just the little things as far as, you know, ground balls and, and proper defense and, you know, moving the ball. And we focused more on that than we did on preparing for individual teams. Um, and I think that that was, that's what really set us apart is that we planned on being lacrosse players instead of kind of preparing for each individual team. Certainly a great tradition in, uh, in Canandaigua. Uh, I think I, I think I think you played in the first championship game ever for girls across. It was around the Coy Canada, I believe it was. I covered it back in like 1997. Um, but obviously a great tradition at Canada. Uh, this was a game where you couldn't quite shake them, McKenna. You had five goals, two assists. It's the fifth time this year that you scored over five goals in a game. Um, your sister, a freshman, uh, she had a goal and two assists. And then Abby Her Herod, is that how you say it? Herod or Herod? Herod. Herod. Two goals uh, on the game. Uh, I guess what what makes you unstoppable, McKenna? Let's just take all the uh, humility out of it. What makes you what made you unstoppable in that game? Um, honestly, a lot of it comes from my teammates and all of my coaches. They're always the ones that are like pushing me and telling me what to do. And my teammates are the ones getting me the ball, off ball movement, giving me those opportunities to finish. So a lot of it does come from my teammates and all my coaches. All right, Dad. Hang on, Dad. You tell us what makes you unstoppable. You know, she works harder than anybody. Um, you know, she, we, nobody knows this, but we spent 35, 40 minutes prior to that championship game in our box lacrosse facility, just her and I just shooting um, eight meter shots and working on her shots. And, um, you know, she, she goes to the gym four times a week. She's got the stick constantly in her hand. She's got the mindset of, of a, a lion she just you know she wants to bring it every single night regardless if she's the best player on the field or not and I think that's what really makes her the player she is is uh she understands the situation she understands um how good she is and she just applies it and that just puts her you know on a different level than everyone else Ken, what's it like playing for dad um it has its ups and downs but overall I think it's really great I mean, it's just, he hasn't coached me since I was little. So now me being older and more mature, I think it's definitely a lot better than when I was younger, but it's definitely a great experience to have. Ronnie, for you, you, you two daughters on the team, obviously had to be some proud dad moments there too. Father's Day is Sunday. Um, what, what does this all mean to you? Well, you know, when we made the decision as a family to, um, to come to pitch or come from Pittsburgh to Canandaigua, I was already the coach in Canada and, you know, I had to make a decision if I, you know, if I give up my job in Canada, I can go watch my kids play. And um, they came to me and said, Hey, let us come to you and, you know, we'll get through this. And it's not always the most opportune situation to be coaching not only one of your kids, but two of your kids, especially being three years apart um, in a situation that, um, you know, is, has a lot of eyes on it. So, um, you know, we came up with, you know, some rules and regulations, I guess you could say, you know, we really didn't talk a lot about lacrosse if at all at the dinner table. When my coaching whistle came off, um, you know, we were, we were talking about family stuff again, but on the field, you know, they made it clear that they're just regular. Players. That's how they want to be treated. 
And that really opened the door for me to coach them and, um, and make them, you know, the players they are to help make them the players they are. They made it easy on me, I'll say that, because there was never ever a moment where it was a dad moment, you know, when I was coaching, it was always, you know, me coaching, you know, 20 young girls and they were two of those 20 girls. Pittsford won in class A, so, uh, you know, and you won in class B, perfect, perfect scenario. McKenna, 72 goals, 41 assists. Uh, I don't work for the DNC anymore, but you'd be my AGR player of the year. Uh, you're going to Boston College. Um, why? Why the Eagles? Um, so Boston College, they have like a, they have a really strong coaching staff over there and such a great program already. I mean, they've been to the national championship game four times. And they finally won it this year. They have a really strong program up there. So that was one of the key factors when I was like making a decision and like my colleges, their lacrosse program is just heads and shoulders above the rest. They're so great up there. And those coaches are awesome. Ronnie, just maybe take an opportunity to to highlight some of the other key cogs to this Canandaigua machine that 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 got it done. Um, obviously, lacrosse is uh, not a not a two person or a three person sport, and uh, a lot a lot of work from a lot of people. McKenna even said her teammates were right behind all her success. So who who helped y'all get it done? Um, well, first and foremost, Abby Herod um, was outstanding on the draw circle. She played offense. She played defense. She took the draws. She played the music before the game. Um, so Abby was absolutely outstanding. And, and that was a wonderful compliment to, to McKenna, but um, for the rest of the team, knowing that we had someone, a regulator in the midfield to, to make sure that we were getting possession of the ball, because that's super important. Um, but our, um, our defense is, was, was unbelievable. Um, we put a game plan together. My coach, my assistant coach, Dave Neiman, put a defensive scheme together um, for Victor, and uh, and that defense executed. And um, without them doing that, without them having the mental mindset of going in there and executing everything exactly the way it was drawn up, um, it could have went the wrong way. But they went in there and they did it, and they held the, probably the highest scoring offense. Um, in section five to just seven goals and um, the, to testament to them to the, the, the model, right? You know, offense wins games, defense wins championships. Well, let me tell you, it couldn't have been more clear in the situation with our goalie, Quinn Feldman, who stood on her head and the defense in front of her. Um, I'm pretty confident that, you know, we were going to be successful that night with that in front of us. And Liv Shore, you're, you're, you're leading. She caused 27 turnovers this year. And talk about defense, getting the ball back, right? How, how critical is that? So, hey, we have lots of interviews this week. Canandaigua Braves, thanks for coming on the program. Coach Davis, congratulations. Thank you very much. And McKenna, best of luck in the future. Thanks for being on our show. Thank okay. you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Class B champion, 17-2 and record, the Canandaigua Braves.